Ultra Instinct is finally returning to Dragon Ball Super. This arc has gone on so long and it's been so much granola. Finally, Goku's gonna come back in and help. He's gonna tag in, no doubt go Ultra Instinct. We got the spoilers here, or at least the draft pages for Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 81. It appears that Granola's arms get broken. Uh, I don't know that that's 100% clarification, but it sure looks like his wrists just got broken. And earlier in this arc, uh, Vegeta was cracking his knees open. So I don't know, man. If this guy survives, he's gonna be in a wheelchair after this arc. Gas does something interesting in this chapter in that he's able to use instantaneous movement on someone else just by like pointing at them. So Granola goes after Elec, Gas just like looks at Elec and teleports him away. So. Goku can transport other people away, but he has to be like physically touching them. So it appears that Gas has somehow evolved the technique uh, without even having to learn how to do that. But on a good note, that means that Goku probably could evolve instantaneous movement as well to get to that point. I don't know how much that would help him, might help him save some people in the future, but I guess he could always just like teleport over to him, grab him, teleport him away. That's what he always does, right? Now with Goku re-entering the fight and Gas is, is his new super evolved form with horns coming out of his head, can Goku have a chance? Is he gonna get some sort of Zenkai boost? Is he gonna evolve Ultra Instinct? So first of all, Gas uses some technique where he looks at Goku and Vegeta and he makes them like super heavy. So I don't know if this has something to do with his manifestation ability, some sort of telekinesis. You know, if you did put some sort of like Frieza barrier on you where you, where you can't move, I guess that would make you feel heavy in the same sense. Like Goldo was weighing people down. They couldn't, they couldn't really move. So it's a pretty actually common technique, I guess, in the Dragon Ball universe. But I don't really know how Goku turning into Ultra Instinct is really going to help them here. Like, can he dodge it if he moves so fast? Like, can Gas not track him down to make him heavy? So we, yes, we did get a confirmation that Goku is coming back in. We didn't get confirmation that Vegeta is coming back in, but we really, I mean, Goku needs to step it up big time because first of all, he lost in perfect Ultra Instinct to Granola. I still really don't know how, uh, you know, he beat the clone and then the real Granola came out, hit him in a critical area and took him out of Ultra Instinct. I mean, you'd think that with Ultra Instinct, you know, he would have just, do his body would have dodged that anyway, but for whatever reason it hit him and it just took him out of Ultra Instinct. And we haven't seen it again for like months. You know, we had the whole little arc with Ultra Ego Vegeta, and now we have Granola versus Gas going on chapter after chapter, and in this chapter too. So finally, Goku's gonna retake the reins. And my question is like, what exactly can he do? Because Granola's apparently stronger than Goku and Gas is way stronger than even Granola. So what could Goku do in Ultra Instinct? I mean, I don't really know, unless he can use Kaioken in Ultra Instinct, if he evolves Ultra Instinct into some sort of like Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct, I feel like Goku probably has to surpass his limits here. Unless Vegeta joins in too, because see a fusion, is Goku gonna be able to charge up a Genkidama? I mean, it seems like the heaters are pretty damn evil, so I think a Genkidama would actually work. But other than that, I don't really see any way that Goku and Vegeta can win this battle against Gas. I mean, Gas seems like he had a little bit of trouble with Granola initially, and then you know, and then he transformed, and now now it's over. Like nobody can even come remotely close to him. Is he gonna just have a heart attack and die? Is his is his lifespan gonna wear out as he's about to, you know, have the finishing blow on Goku and Vegeta, who, by the way, are completely tanked still at this point. I mean, they got minor healing from Manito, I believe, but Granola ate the Senzu. Like, they haven't replenished their stamina, uh, maybe a little bit, like maybe enough to go Super Saiyan or even Super Saiyan Blue, but can they use their full power at this point? Like, I really don't think so? We're gonna talk about that right after this. Today's video is sponsored by Likewise. Likewise is an app for your phone that allows you to find new movies, shows, books, and podcasts for you to binge on. Not only does Likewise recommend movies and shows for you to watch, but there's also a solid community here which recommends content that you might enjoy. So all you have to do is create a profile, put in the types of shows and movies that you like. For me personally, I like fantasy, sci-fi, and horror. And then all I have to do is swipe through, check out the communities, and I'll get tons 
of recommendations for great shows, movies, and podcasts to watch and listen to. So if you're like me and you're tired of scouring through all of the streaming services trying to find something new and fresh to watch, Likewise is perfect for you and it's perfect for me. You can download Likewise for free right now by clicking that link in the description. Could a wish be made with either the Earth or Namekian Dragon Balls to heal up Goku and Vegeta? Well, Goku and Vegeta and Granola will have to all teleport off planet and uh, heal up and come back and fight another day. That's a possibility as well. Like maybe they just have to straight up escape. Although this arc has gone on so long, if they stretch it even more, I think fans are gonna be really disappointed because I mean, there's just been so much combat in this very little developments with the exception of Vegeta getting a new form like that was great and people loved it even though he lost which was kind of stupid in my opinion. <laughs> Could it be something like you know the Boo arc where Goku's trying to use the Genkindama and he's out of energy and he has to have a wish made to restore his key. Uh, maybe I mean there's there's all these new sets of Dragon Balls now so maybe they you know wish for his key to be restored could see Gogeta. We got Gogeta in the Broly movie, but we didn't get it in the manga. Then remember, they skipped over the Broly movie in the manga. So if we got the ultra Gogeta, I mean, it's over. And I think it's a very real possibility that we get Ultra Instinct Goku fusing with Ultra Ego Vegeta. It would make fans go crazy. It definitely would be the new strongest in the universe, enough to defeat Gas. But at the same time, if they did that, if they give this win to Goku, which it kind of appears that they're probably going to do now because Granola has lost, it defeats the entire purpose of this Granola redemption arc that they've been feeding to us uh, this entire this entire saga that we've been going on here. Like, what's the point of all of this Granola stuff and all this backstory if uh, Goku's just going to take the W anyway, which is very, very possible. I mean, I don't think Vegeta's gonna do it. I still think Vegeta can evolve his Ultra Ego into like mastered Ultra Ego and be on par with Goku. I think he gave that whole speech to like Beerus and he's like, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to like let go and all this stuff. And so I still think Vegeta is capable of evolving his technique even further and you know, his form even further and going to mastered Ultra Ego, which would be absolutely amazing. And I hope we get that and I hope Vegeta gets the W, but that ain't gonna happen. I mean, come on, like we know that, <laughs> that is not a formula uh, that Dragon Ball writing ever goes to and I doubt they ever will. So Vegeta does know instantaneous movement. If Goku's coming back in to help, maybe Vegeta teleports off world and either gathers the Earth Dragon Balls from Mechian Dragon Balls or does something. Could he go get beer? I mean, Beerus and Whis wouldn't get involved in this. So I just feel like there's very few options for Goku, Vegeta, and Granola here besides either gas running out of lifespan, uh, somehow Goku's able to get off a Genki Dama, Goku evolves Mastered Ultra Instincts, or we get Ultra Gogeta. I, I don't know what else they could do to defeat the heaters here. I mean, even if Frieza comes and even if he's got his new platinum form or something, I still don't think it's enough to take on the heaters. Although speaking of Frieza, I mean, he's, he should come at some point, I feel like, considering this whole arc started with him. But he'd be pretty pissed off to figure, to find out that the uh, the heaters were disloyal and kind of playing him the whole time and, and still trying to play him. So I feel like Frieza would try and destroy them, but uh, Gas is way too powerful for Frieza. So I don't know what Frieza could do either. Anyways, we'll have to see what happens when the full chapter comes out, which will be in about a week. Make sure you guys are subscribed with notifications enabled. And thank you to Likewise for sponsoring. I'll see you guys soon on the next video.